I've gotten to work on a lot of cool products throughout my career, motorcycles, bicycles, but I never thought I would be working on uh, e-bicycle development at Harley-Davidson. So I came to Harley-Davidson in the early 2000s. I was one of only four engineers that had the opportunity to work on the early development of Livewire. And after working on that for several years, I took an opportunity to work in the bicycle industry. It was a good opportunity to combine my passions of engineering and my cycling. Some folks from Harley approached me about an opportunity to potentially come back and lead the engineering and product development for e-bicycles. As a passionate bicyclist and motorcyclist, it's a great opportunity to bridge that gap between bicycles and motorcycles. It might seem like a stretch for Harley-Davidson to get into e-bicycles, but we are getting back to our roots considering that the first Harley motorcycles were actually powered bicycles. It's not every day you get to do a clean sheet design for a company like Harley-Davidson. While it's a great opportunity, it's also a great responsibility as well to deliver on the quality, the look, the feel, everything that goes along uh, that has to live up to the Harley-Davidson brand. E-bicycles are booming globally and leveraging Harley-Davidson's motorcycle development teams and processes facilities are also a huge advantage for Harley-Davidson to enter the hyper-competitive e-bicycle market. The challenge with an e-bicycle is how do you have a classic look of a bicycle while integrating all of the assist and EV systems with the battery, the controls, the motor. So integrating all of those components seamlessly into the frame has been very front of mind. It was very important when we started the e-bicycle program to consider some of the similar vehicle dynamics and handling things on a bicycle that are true on motorcycles. One of the main goals was the mass centralization. You can see that in our drive system as well as our battery location and integration into the frame. In setting up our vehicle sizing, we interfaced with our human factors teams to ensure that whether you're five foot two or six foot three, they'll have a consistent riding experience. There's always challenges when you're tasked with building a unique family of e-bicycles. But we've assembled a world-class team of people from within Harley-Davidson as well as from across the country and across the globe to all pull together to design, develop, and deliver the best possible e-bicycle.